Hey there, dear Spellweaver community, and welcome back to Spellweaver. <laughs> Ranked first episode of 2018, in fact. And today, I bring you a deck that I have created myself. And I'm not gonna do like uh, friendly games. No, I'm actually gonna go right back. Right back. Gonna go right into uh, ranked with this one because. I'm pretty confident and I'm probably gonna regret saying that. Today we are gonna play, you know, there are there are two, actually three decks that are really easy to play. Uh, that you can get from scratch basically, you don't need much for that. It requires basic heroes, it requires basic cards. First one is of course uh, zombies, which is um, basic corruption. You don't, maybe except like for Duke Harsford, you can basically do, they are low budget, this is a low budget deck, right? Then we have Rage Rush, which also requires a basic Zash. And uh, you have, yeah, it's basically also a low budget deck. And then there are Soldiers. All three of those are basically Rush decks. One more effective than the other. And one particular guy, namely Vanguard X, by the way, who is uh, top ranked, by the, by the way, as of now. He really is a big fan of uh, Red Soldiers, which is a deck that he created himself, which basically is a Soldiers list, but it also runs... Or it mostly runs, um, corruption, uh, corruption, rage spells, obviously. Um, I've played that in Spell We Are Ranked and it went terrible. So, uh, not gonna play that ever again, I think. But then there is something that uh, my little mind came up with. Um, if you go into corruption, uh, you see like the zombie legionnaire, for instance. Or you see the infected survivor who turns into a, um, zombie legionnaire. Let me actually check that. Yeah, and then you see like the Dread Knight as well So this one is a soldier and uh, the Dread Knight who is a 6-6 one speed deadly Which is a mou mouthful as well is also a human knight What does that tell you exactly that they would actually be pretty good in a soldiers list? And this is what we are playing today. We are not gonna play red soldiers We're gonna play black soldiers or as I dubbed it. We're gonna play corrupted soldiers, which is basically a uh, like, a, like your regular run-of-the-mill soldiers list, but splashed in with a bunch of um, corruption creatures and spells as well. So, this is what we're gonna run with. Of course, we're gonna run with basic Alexa, because, you know, ready the peasant, summons a militia, self-explanatory. We play three times the Knight Recruiter, because this card is just awesome. He gets plus one, plus one for each soldier on our front line, and summons a militia when he enters the field as well. So, he basically comes into play as a 2-2. We play the Cavalry Field Captain. Awesome card as well, it's a knight. And uh, when he enters the field, one of our creatures of our choosing gets plus one attack, plus one speed, plus one HP. And it's a 2-2-3 speed, blocks basically everything in the game. And for one mana, we can move Cavalry Captain to our support line, if we ever wanted to do that. I'm not sure why, but we can definitely do that. Two times Elite Vanguard, just an awesome vanilla card, 3-3-2 three, three, speed. Not much there to say. Master Tactician is, of course, one of our favorite cards. Other soldiers on the same line as Master Tactician get plus one, plus one. Which means this also buffs the Militia. And if a Militia is... Let me check that real quick. If I fucking... I fucking hate this. This always happens to me. If a Militia is... Uh, yeah, if a Militia's attack is um, greater than one... It also gets one speed, so if Master Tactician hits the field, it gets buffed, buffed to a 2-2 and thus it also gets two speed, which is pretty neat. And of course, Master Tactician buffs every soldier on the same line as him, which means the Elite Vanguard, the Cavalry Field Captain, I think Knights also count, and the Knight Recruiter and of course the Militias. Then for the Corruption aspect, we have four Zombie Legionnaires because, you know, it's a 2-2 soldier. We have an infect infected survivor, three of those, because uh, when they die, 1-1, one, one, three speed, blocks everything basically, and except for like an elf scout, um, and a buffed Prinha. And uh, if it dies, it spawns a zombie legionnaire. So it replaces itself, and it, then it gets buffed. It doesn't get buffed by the uh, mass attack because it's a human, but yeah, if he turns into a zombie legionnaire, obviously he gets buffed by that. Three flesh sculptures, because, you know, if one of our creatures dies, we summon the Zombie Legionnaire, and they also are soldiers and benefit. So, yeah, Flash Sculpture definitely has to be in there. And two Dread Knights, which is our value card. Basically, one speed isn't too good, but it's deadly, and it's a knight. 
And when he enters the field, you just move two enemy creatures to the support line so they can block. Which is pretty neat. For spells, we have Pacify because I just love this card. It's fucking annoying to play against and uh, no one really expects it for some reason. Four times Guards Guard summons two militias under the field. We can use that when the enemy just attacks. And the great thing about this is we summon two militias and they have three speed when we summon them. And uh, yeah, it's an instant spell so we can play that when the enemy declared his attack already. And uh, mess them up a little bit right there. Two times Arrow Barrage, board clear, four damage on the front or support line, depends on what we choose. Three Noxious Fumes, because Obnoxious Fumes is just an awesome card. Uh, probably one of, yeah, one of the best removal cards in the game. Three Consume Spirits. Uh, we don't really want to go up like too many corruption aspects. We need to go up two, however, for... I mean, we can go up two uh, order, but I think the most that we actually have to do for the Dread Knight is one order one and, and two corruption. Because the more corruption we have, the more Consumed Spirit deals damage, basically. Minus X HP plus X attack for another creature, and X is, of course, our corruption level. So if we have two corruption aspects, it's for one enemy creature that we choose, minus 2 HP and plus 2 attack for the creature of our choosing. Also great removal, obviously. Tombs of the Damned summons some Legionnaires, of course. And for Shrines, we have an Order Shrine, and then we have my absolute favorite combo, the Haunted Cemetery and Sanctum of the Void. Usually, what we want to do is uh, use Haunted Cemetery. The next time an enemy creature dies, this turns summon a zombie legionnaire onto the field, and then we can use Sanctum of the Void. So there is definitely a creature that dies on the enemy side, and then we gain a f basically a free um, zombie legionero. And of course, eight order shrines, eight corruption shrines goes without saying. 18 overall. That is the deck we are running with today. Black soldiers, corrupted soldiers, however you want to call it. And of course, we're gonna go with the obnoxious Humes card back. By the way. I got a couple, got a couple of more, like this one and this one, the Sunblessed Priest and the Spell of Weaver Brazil one. I got them from the, from the, from the holiday promotion thingy, which was pretty good. Benefited both like uh, advanced players and newer players. Pretty cool. Uh, for now, we are ranked 154 with a rating of 1,026, 67 wins, 102 losses. A rating, as I said, of 1,026. Is that still the same or is it messed up? It isn't. So let's see if we can climb up some ranks. And let's see if this deck actually works. And we're going to see that in game number one. Game number one against Wheatman420. Alright. Uh, that's a good hand. We keep that. A good hand. I keep that. Super hot fire, I spit that. Uh, so we, we, when we get a Corruption Shrine, we can actually straight away play the Zombie Legionero, which would be pretty neat. Uh, all pretty good. Uh, let's get rid of this for now. Noise. Got that. Can also go straight away for the Infected Survivor. Infected Survivor and... Um, Flesh Sculpture is actually a pretty neat combo, I gotta say. And straight away, like, we reveal our first, or second color. First color, sure. Let's go with that. Let's see what he thinks about that. If he's blocking or not. Probably not, though. And it would be pretty good if he, if he doesn't kill the Infected Survivor with the Elf Scout, because next turn... I would go up one order for the Flesh Sculpture, and I would get double for the Infected Survivor. But I'm keeping it on the front line. Pretty sure you won't run that into him. But it's order in nature. We're gonna... S wow. Wow, dude. Really? Damn. Alright, then. Maybe I want to Noxious that, though. <laughs> Speaking of Noxious... Nah, let's keep with the plan. Do we have to... We don't necessarily have to kill that, but... Let's make sure that we do. Probably not gonna switch. Nah, of course not. Pansy, but we have two obnoxious fumes, which is pretty nice. Gonna keep that on the back line. Because I'm pretty sure he wanted to do some naughty things with that elf scout. <clears throat> we 
was an interesting play though, like three elf scouts, why not? Yeah, sure, go go haywire, my friend. Damn it. <laughs> Would have gotten one back anyways. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm gonna play double noxious just to get rid of this. Ooh, master tactician! It's flourishing! Oh yeah, I forgot to go over this card. Ah well. It's noxious this. And noxious this. Go in for beats. Works out. Should have spent the mana, of course. <clears throat> like I'm thinking, since he's play, he plays Keanu Reeves and Order of Nature. It's like some sort of, um, yeah, there it is. Some sort of Valor rush with nature, something like that. Yeah, well, my friend, um, there is a max master tactician hitting the board, so uh, yeah, I can I can do a little bit there. <laughs> and a cavalry field captain. So let's hit them. Let's let's drop the master tactician. And doesn't matter for him, but that's okay. Mm, yeah. Should I? Yeah, I should. It's a shame that the, that he was uh, summoned because that basically just means that I don't get uh, anything back from the flash skull tree, but I get two zombies. Yes. Nice. Hit this out four damage now. Of course, the healing sucks a little bit, but I can also just run the master tactician into into that next turn, or summon. Ah, he wants to kill that, eh? I ah, actually can, yeah. But that kills both still, which is weird. But all right. Don't know if he planned that out correctly as he intended to, but all right. <laughs> Night Recruiter, alright. So let's get rid of one of these. Let's see. Zombie Legionnaire. Um, 2, 4, 6, 8 damage. Let's drop that. Do we go for this? Yeah, we can go for this and uh, for the Zombie Legionnaire, so let's do that. Go in for beats. He also has only one aspect now. That's also kind of interesting. Apparently it works for him though. <laughs> it's an 8-8 eight, eight <laughs> horseback rider though. Mm. Love that. <clears throat> Master. Oh, reach. Yeah, he can kill that flesh sculpture now. Which he doesn't. Fine with me. Uh, I think I actually got this game. But let's double check. Use that. <laughs> Sweet. Alright. So, do I keep that? Mm, let's check. Let's just go in for beats. He can block two, which is probably this and this. So two, four, six, seven. Yeah, it's lethal. I got it. <clears throat> oh no. And that's it, my friends. That's the first win for corrupted, <laughs> corrupted soldiers or black soldiers, however you want to call it. Nice. That worked wonders. Now we have a rating of 1,040. Which means we are ranked 140. Blaze it. Alright. That was pretty good. 
that's pretty good. So let's see how it goes in game number two. Let's keep that up. Game number two against Biodarus. Ah, uh, let's try it again. That's not as that's not so good. That's way better actually. Instant uh, Zombie Legionnaire is definitely something that I am fond of. Don't really want to use that skill trap because we have only have one of each, so better keep that to ourselves. And we have a pacify, which is pretty neat. Oh god, that's gonna be fun. Wisdom Rage. Ugh. That's gonna be a little bit shitty. Of course, we instantly reveal our first color because that's just just what you gotta do sometimes. And with the order level, we can just... Ah, that's an arrow lock. Card bag. Yeah, pretty nice. Pretty neat. Um, actually want to keep all of those cards, so yeah. Might go for Sanctum, not an extra card draw, sadly, but... At least we got the Sanctum. That's also, by the way, what we need f uh, to order... Or corruption levels for, for Sanctum, obviously. Fuckity fuck fuck. Also for tombs. Just realized that. Um, let's go for mana. <laughs> Get Mass Edition right back into our hands. Why not? And we can play that next turn if we do so desire. Gonna hold on to the guards guards, however. Cool thing is also when you summon them in during the enemy's turn, they are like... Instantly effective, so you can use them to block straight away. And they have three speed, so they block quite a bit. Uh, we're gonna run into like Phoenix and shit. Uh, fuck a duck in the butt. Don't ask me why that came to mind. <clears throat> I don't want to use that skill shrine, no? Like for, for, for an aspect. Guess gotta do that. Hmm, Red Knight. Aight, I feel it. Let's go for that straight away, go get some beats in. He's one mana, so he probably has like Flash Freeze or something in hand. I'm guessing. Probably. Doesn't use it yet though. Right then, my friend. I see how it is. Yeah, on the same line. So I can't put him on the back line, but... Yeah, the thing is also, like... Advanced Darius... Technically wrecks this uh, wrecks this deck, and also does, does um, advanced uh, Darius... Uh, advanced Zash because of Firestorm. So let's do um, Power Discharge is gone. Which is good. A beautiful fella. Thank you. That's exactly what I wanted for Christmas. Perfect. Let's get these zombies on a roll. <clears throat> and don't forget, even if he has like Phoenix or... Which he probably does. And or... Um, the, 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 the Elder Scarred Warborn, there it is. Elder Scarred Warborn, however he's called. We have Pacify. Which we can use and which we will use, obviously. So let's use this. Into... We have an Obnoxious Fumes. Let's see, it's two mana, Noxious Fumes. Yeah! Yeah. This into this. This into this. I would say. So. Ah, fucked up. 
Damn it. Now well, I can still do this, though. Um, Kill that off. Play that. Alright. Yeah, I forgot. I shouldn't have played Guards Guards. Like, I could have Noxious this, or Noxious this, and then just go for a Soul Prison and get rid of one entirely. Which he probably would choose this. Ah, yeah, fucking Fire Blast. This proves to be difficult, but I kind of assumed that. And I don't really want to pacify this because, you know, it's... Mm. He still gains three mana, uh, three energy back for this, so he kind of benefits from it. <clears throat> At this point, though, if he uses um, Firestorm, he also wipes off his own board, which is pretty nice. So we have that going for us. Battle Scarred Elder, by the way, was the was the creature name I was searching for. Didn't freeze anything, so that's good. Too pacifying. Ah, I can play this. Maybe I have to end up pacifying this. Maybe. <laughs> if I would have had four mana, I could have pacified both of these and then just go for Soul Prison. He doesn't like flash sculptures, it seems. For some odd reason. <clears throat> yeah, fuck this, pacify that. Yeah, yeah tr true. On speed, of course. <laughs> yeah, we kind of wasted a Noxious then there. Should have, like, put Noxious on one of these, because now... The Phoenix is back with three energy in his deck. Kinda sucky. But yeah. Uh, Flesh Sculpture actually does something for us, so I'm gonna get rid of this for now. Let's make him sack one of them. Clears off the board of his, on his side a little bit. He could firestorm. Probably will. But we're gonna see if he if he is that filthy. Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Though to his credibility, he didn't play a silencer yet, so he's good on that. Also, he burned through quite a quite a bit of spells already. There it is, back again. <clears throat> Phoenix is just almost as annoying, I would say, at this point. <sighs> I need a master tactician. And like everything kills, everything that I put on the field just gets wiped off by by Firestorm, which kind of sucks. Yeah, he blocks everything here. But he can't really kill anything. He can kill the militia, but I don't really care about that. <laughs> Let that one beat go through. It's gonna be the decision maker at the end. <clears throat> Kind of wasted that freeze, however. Hmm. I was about to say, he keeps the blockers, it seems. I don't know. Down to two. Alright then. 
I don't know. <laughs> no idea. Maybe you just wanted to use it? Could be a thing. So burn through the phoenix once, didn't draw anything. Shrine off of shrine isn't the best. Silencer, okay. This guy is going onto the fucking naughty list, that's for sure. Wait. I, d I don't have the naughty list anymore, by the way. I have to make a new one, I guess. Gonna, uh, gonna end up on this, my friend. <clears throat> I can get rid of this though. Make him sack one. The Phoenix. Because if he goes for the dragon, that would be fucking stupid. Because he can also block now. Yeah, I mean, if you splash in wisdom, of course you're gonna play fucking silences. Hold on. Um, there it is. Beodarus goes on the naughty list. Fucking no, no, no! I resign. I don't play against silences. Beodarus, rage, wisdom. And yeah, for some reason, I like lost the the original naughty list. I can just check the videos to see who is on there, but right here we have it for now, if you can see that, Naughty List, Biodarus, fuck that fucking Rage Wisdom Silencer bullshit, I hate that.